I don't want to break the rules. Most dating shows are heavy on affection, but in Too Hot to Handle, that kind of action will cost you. Literally. These contestants had to follow strict rules to stay on the show, and in good standing with their fellow cast members. We'll talk about how some couples got away with sharing a shower, and how the show changed David's outlook on dating and friendship. I just get so addicted to it, like, oh, just, oh, that was my phone, so I'm loud, I'm so sorry. <laughs> The Contest The major twist of Too Hot to Handle is one that the contestants didn't see coming. Once they started making connections, they found out that they weren't allowed to engage in any form of intimacy with other contestants, at least not without paying for it. Creator Laura Gibson came up with the premise for Too Hot to Handle while she was engaged in one of our favorite hobbies, binge watching. She was enjoying some old episodes of the classic comedy Seinfeld when she came to one called The Contest. It's about Jerry and his friends having a competition to see who can go the longest without fraternizing, either with other people or themselves. None of the characters achieved their goal, which made Laura wonder if real life results would be any different. Never Alone of course, being on a reality show means being in front of cameras. A lot of them. But Too Hot to Handle took this to the next level. Contestants couldn't even escape the camera crew while they were taking showers. Even The Bachelorette skips cameras in the fantasy suite, but this show monitors every cast member at every last moment. Lana was always watching to make sure everyone was actually getting clean. The main bedroom was stocked with six cameras in addition to the ones placed throughout the house. Some poor folks behind the scenes had to investigate some suspicious noises which was especially awkward when they took place in the bathroom. But strangely enough, just sudsing up with someone else wasn't against the rules. Kells and Francesca and David and Lydia were able to share showers without paying the price. Youth Creator Laura Gibson wanted the Too Hot to Handle group to feel challenged by the scenario they found themselves in. She decided that one way to make the temptation greater was to make the contestants younger. Most of the cast members on the show are in their early 20s, the oldest being Bryce Hirschberg, who was 29 during the competition. The youngest were Madison Wyburny and Haley Curitan, who were both 20. Laura believed older people would have an easier time abstaining with the promise of cash, while younger people would be more likely to give in. Lana Cast members couldn't afford to get too close with each other, but they couldn't avoid their electronic companion, Lana. Surprisingly, the folks behind Too Hot to Handle have been remarkably quiet about how Lana actually works. They claim not knowing helps keep the magic and mystery alive, and that they think of her as Mary Poppins meets Ellen DeGeneres. Although the cast members might not know exactly how Lana operates, they spend more time interacting with her than they did with human producers. She's kind of like having an Alexa always available, and producers feel she added a modern and youthful element to the show. Warmth Choosing an entertaining cast was essential for the success of the show, so what criteria did producers use to select their favorite candidates? According to producer Louise Pete, there were certain applications that really stood out among the rest. They knew right away that David Burtwistle was a great pick, since he expressed the belief that he's always the last boyfriend before his exes get married. Harry Jousey was also an early selection, since he had a list of his former partners on his phone, even though he couldn't quite remember who they actually were. So you're saying that girls fall in love with you. But unique dating stories aside, there was one trait all participants on Too Hot to Handle had to have, and that was warmth. Although each fan has their favorite cast member, producers wanted to make sure that everyone on the show was likable and warm, so they'd be entertaining to watch. Dinner Plans while cast members spent tons of time in front of the camera, there was one time of day they were allowed to just relax, and that was dinner time. At night, the entire cast got to take off their microphones and enjoy an off-camera meal with each other. The only drawback to this little bit of freedom? They weren't allowed to discuss anything about the show. Producers didn't want to miss out on any drama or relevant conversation, so conversation topics were limited during this time. But one thing that wasn't limited was the food selection. According to Harry Jousey, their cuisine was prepared by a personal chef who cooked up meals and snacks to order. Cast members were allowed to request their favorite snacks, and one popular pick was deep-fried Oreos. Harry claims that the food he had on Too Hot to Handle was the best food he had in his entire life. Drinking limit. 
If you're a fan of dating shows, then you probably know that in most cases there's an abundance of alcohol. It helps people relax, intensifies emotions, and encourages people to behave in ways they otherwise wouldn't. Which is why it's kind of surprising that there were limits on the amount of alcohol participants on Too Hot to Handle were allowed to drink. Rhonda Paul claims that they were allowed to sip on cocktails, but only in moderate amounts. Producers didn't want everyone going too crazy, so they limited the amount of alcohol everyone could consume. Cramped Quarters Obviously, everyone on Too Hot to Handle ended up spending a lot of time together, even when they were sleeping. Not only did they have to share a single bedroom, but they also had to share beds with each other. Unsurprisingly, some folks weren't a fan of this plan and opted to sleep on the floor, at least at first. David Burtwistle tried to resist sharing a mattress in the beginning, but eventually ended up sharing his sleeping space most of the time with his friend Sharon Townsend. Limited Access there were a lot of rules to follow on the set of Too Hot to Handle, but there was one restriction that some contestants actually found refreshing. Being a part of the show meant being cut off from the outside world, which meant that connecting to the Wi-Fi was not an option. Cast members gave up their phones and other electronics and weren't allowed to contact their friends and family. But David claims that being without his phone was actually really nice, since it allowed him to concentrate more on spending time with everyone around him. Chloe Veach said that even if she had her phone, she wouldn't have wanted to be on it since there was so much else to do. Harry believes that being isolated from outsiders helped the cast bond and really showed everyone's true character. The cost. Obviously, the most major rule of Too Hot to Handle is no intimacy, at least without paying the price. There was a lot going on behind the scenes to make the show work, but producers struggled with one task in particular. Of course, some cast members couldn't help across the line, and there had to be appropriate penalties in place for when this happened. But how much of the $100,000 pot would be lost with each action? Executive producer Jonah Richards said figuring out these price tags took a lot of discussions. They didn't want contestants to be too focused on the money, but they didn't want them completely losing sight of the premise either. A single kiss cost $3,000, while Francesca and Harry cost everyone $20,000 on their overnight date. Watch out! Executive producers Vicky Kolar and Jonah Richards wanted Too Hot to Handle to be full of twists and turns for the audience and the contestants. One major game change took place about halfway through the series when these smart watches were introduced. These devices were intended to do a lot more than count contestants' steps. They were supposed to act as a positive feedback system. They would reward contestants for forming genuine connections to one another by giving them a literal green light to engage in some light kissing with one another. Vicky claimed that the watches were introduced in order to counterbalance the punishment of losing money. Contestants could now show affection if they could earn the green light first. Originally, the watches were going to have a meaner purpose, but producers decided to try out some positive motivation with the cast members. Sharon and Rhonda earned an overnight date, but they had to go into it knowing it would be impossible to get a green light at any point. The lack of permission cost everyone a whopping $16,000. Must show growth. Even though there was a ton of cash at stake, producers wanted that to be the sole motivator for the cast members. Instead of just resisting the urge to pucker up, they also had to show that they were growing as people instead of just coasting along. Failing to thrive meant failing to stay on the show, which is something that Haley Curitan learned the hard way. Francesca Farago and Harry Jousey lost $3,000 after kissing in the second episode, and Francesca earned everyone ire after Harry blamed her for their encounter. So Francesca and Haley decided to share a smooth and blame the subsequent loss of funds on Sharon Townsend and Rhonda Paul. The plan didn't work, and later Haley was kicked off the show. According to Lana, she failed to have a positive impact on the group, obey the rules, and show signs of personal growth. Even though Francesca tried to trick everyone too, producers just didn't think Haley had the right attitude, and that's why she had to go. Follow the rules, sometimes. There were quite a few potential penalties in place for refusing to follow the rules of Too Hot to Handle. Cast members could get kicked off like Haley or cost themselves and their friends some cold, hard cash, but sometimes they were given a second chance to make things right even after disobeying a major rule. Despite having to share a single bedroom with everyone, Francesca and Harry still managed to cost everyone some serious cash one night. However, they had the chance to redeem themselves on an overnight date by just following the rules. Although their fellow cast members were relieved to see their balance go back up, it was strange that Francesca and Harry essentially got away with breaking a major rule. No secrets. 
Of course, it's hard to resist sharing a kiss when you have a close connection with someone, or if you're trying to scheme the system. Francesca and Haley locked lips in an attempt to get the heat off Francesca for sharing a smooch with Harry. They thought it was a solid plan, but they failed to realize that there are no secrets on Too Hot to Handle, at least not with Lana around. Haley described herself and her co-kisser as little hotheads and admitted she wanted to spice things up a bit. While they definitely made things interesting, they made a mistake thinking the truth wouldn't come out. Open up. Some cast members of Too Hot to Handle left with more than just some cash. In order to make it on the show, they had to open up to each other, and David Burtwistle ended up learning some important lessons that changed his life. He claims that being a part of the show meant being vulnerable and not just in romantic situations. According to David, the men ended up getting close to one another and this made it easier for them to open up to their partners. He learned that it's okay not to internalize things and that men don't constantly have to be in competition with one another. He believes making better friends will help him have better relationships in the future. David says this has changed the way he dates and helped him make more purposeful choices on his search for a wife. Do you think the rules were reasonable on Too Hot to Handle, or were some of the restrictions too much? Were you glad to see Haley go, or were you hoping she'd stick around? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section, and then click subscribe for more great videos from The Taco. We'll see you next time.